So if you are a fan of a virtual desktop, I will promote you to an air conditioner right now because virtual desktop now supports multiple monitors. So I'm going to explain how it works, ensure that everything works correctly and snappy. And at the end, I will tell you how to set this up for yourself. So stick around. Virtual desktop, you guys are all familiar with this one. Here's your window screen. But how do we add the monitors? You have to aim outside of the window and then press the trigger. And then you see these icons for app monitor and remove monitor. When you press the app monitor icon, you get a new monitor. If I press it again, I get a third monitor. Now the cool thing is you can adjust these monitors like the way you want. I can put them anywhere, I can put them all over there, or I can put them all back. Whatever pleases you, you can do it. You can make the curvature, you can make it flatter, just like that. This one flat and that one flat. You can adjust the distance of the monitor see it makes it way more distant right now it's it's like a cinema screen almost and i can bring it all the way to the front you can reset the view i just press it around here and then it's reset it there i can adjust the height if i want and i can also make this one a portrait mode and these two landscape so whenever you're reading maybe in a long article or a document, that's way handier to have this like a portrait mode and these just for your regular landscape mode tasks. Now you also have an option in the menu. If I press the hamburger icon on my left controller, then I can go into the settings tab. And right here, when you check the arrange monitors on recenter and press this button, it will arrange the monitors accordingly. Now with the flat mode, it's not that good, I have noticed. So what you can do is you can make this curved again. And let's put this back to uh, landscape, just like so. Make it curved, it's like this, flick the wrist. And there we go, and then press it again. And there you go. Now they are arranged neatly, very little bezels. You can you can just, you know, adjust it a, just a tiny bit more so. And maybe you can make like a, uh, you know, widescreen gaming setup. So that's pretty cool. Now in the streaming tab, we can adjust the bitrate. And the bitrate will be split between the three monitors. So if you have a bitrate of 100 Mbps, then it will be divided by three and each one gets that amount of bitrate. The VR frame rate, 120 fps will run on each monitor the same so if I, if I have 120 fps everything will be 120 fps now what you can also do if i press the b button go to display settings and here you see the setup so if i identify one three and two what i can do is i can also adjust the uh, resolution for each monitor so if i go to this one that's the resolution right now and here we have the resolution so you have a lot of options and you can also if you go into the advanced display now here you can see the refresh rate of the monitors so if i just put the main one on my refresh rate that is uh, native and i go to this one and i go back and go to advanced and as you can see it's 120 hertz so 120 fps and the second one, or should I say third one, 120 FPS. So this one is my 164 FPS, although you won't see it because the refresh rate of the headset is only 120 Hertz. So everything is displayed 120 FPS. How awesome is that? You got three monitors with 120 Hertz refresh rate. So there's so much stuff that you can do. Here we go. Now all the monitors, are here with me 100 complete it i didn't really want to reveal the entire map just like that we can play a game so how do we get all of this up and running well first of all if you haven't got virtual desktop yet on your quest you can buy it by following the first link that i have provided in the description below it is a referral link so you will get 25 percent off for yourself and i will get five euros in store credit so i can review other games in the future for you guys so it's a win-win. After that, make sure that you have installed Virtual Desktop on your Meta Quest, of course, and that you have gotten the latest version. 
but we also have to get the beta streamer app on windows and by going to the third link that i've provided in the description below it is a github page from here you can find your version for windows or for mac of course for me it's windows so i will go with the virtual desktop streamer setup.x of course download it run through the process and after that you will have the virtual desktop streamer like this uh, you can set your preferred settings pretty much you're good to go so the quest 3 supports up to three monitors the quest 2 two monitors and the quest 1 just a single monitor and that is that. If you want to transform your Quest 3 into a version of the Apple Vision Pro, then check out this video right here where I showcase the Spatial app, a very unique app with built-in apps where you can place your screens all over the place. It's, it's pretty amazing, check it out.